Hi guys, in the previous episode I showed you I'd bought this All Star transmitter which came with a receiver and an ESC and I was talking about how you could do a cheap hobby grade conversion of your toy grade car. Now to save a bit of time I've got a toy grade chassis here that I've already modified for a previous project. Basically you can see there's no receiver in there, all that's come out. And I've wired these JST connectors, these will be the females, directly to the motors. So drive motor and steering motor. And we're going to use two ESCs to control those motors. Now when you get your ESCs, one thing you need to know is whether they've got a brake on them. A lot of these have an inbuilt brake. That means when you go forwards fast and then slam it into reverse, it doesn't go in reverse, it stops. And you have to centre it again and then go in reverse before it will go backwards. Which is fine for your drive motor, but you definitely don't want a brake on your steering motor because it will turn right and then you can't turn left or the other way around. It will turn left and you can't turn right. So when you buy your ESC, you have to make sure whether it's got a brake or not. This one that came with the package does have a brake. And on some of them, they've actually got a little switch on them that you can switch the brake off, but there's nothing on that one to switch it off. This ESC which you probably can't get anymore. It's quite an old one. Brushed motor, speed controller, four volts to 8.4 volts, 20 amps. This one doesn't have a brake on it. So this is the one I'm gonna use for the steering. So I'm just gonna plug that straight into the steering. Okay, interestingly enough, it looks like I've swapped the legs over on at that that one at some time or other because you'll notice the blacks go into the red and the reds go into the black doesn't really matter as far as the steering is going because we go into the motor if that was the wrong way around going into there from the battery then we'd have a big problem anyway okay and then the other esc we're going to plug into the drive motor and that one is the right way around black to black, red to red. Okay, now you've got a problem. If you've only got one battery and you've got two ESCs you want to feed from it, then you do need to make yourself up a little Y splitter. So the black from the battery goes to the black of that one and the black of that one and the red from the battery goes to the red of that one and the red of that one. So that just gives us two feeds off of one battery. You could use two batteries, but if you use two batteries, you've got to bear in mind you might be confusing the receiver by putting two different batteries into it. As long as they're the same voltage, they should be okay, but it might cause a problem. That's a better way to do it, do a splitter. So, Drive motor is going to go to channel 2. The black goes to the outside. If you actually look at it, this, at the top there, is that going to focus? Yeah. At the top there, there's a red S for signal, which is the white wire, funnily enough, on these. And then you've got your plus and your minus. So the minus is the right hand one as we look at it, the plus is the middle and the left hand row of tags is the signal tag. So this one, so say that's going to be channel 2 because channel 2 is the throttle on that controller and this one is going to go to channel 1 which is the bottom one because that's the steering and then both of them are going to plug into the battery. 
Okay. These also have on off switches on them. And you want them both to be on. Which seem fairly obvious, but yes, you need them both on. Right, if we just hold this up so the wires don't actually get in the way. I'll turn that on. That should have gone to a it hasn't. Why hasn't that gone to a permanent glow? Have I picked up the wrong controller? Yes, I have. I have two identical controllers. This one doesn't have a label in there, so it's the wrong one. There it is. I'll put it down on the table at the other end. Right, switch that one on. That's more like it. Permanent glow there. A wine from the ESCs. Um, right, I just adjusted the trim a little bit there. The, the wine is when the motors are actually trying to draw some current. The ESC sends power to the current via PWM, pulse width modulation, which is pulses basically. And the, the whine you could hear is the pulses of electricity or current operating the coil of the motor, causing it to hum, whine. So you will find this can be noisy. Right, we'll lift it up again, and this time, if we're lucky. We have steering. You have a slight bit of proportional steering. It's not true proportional, but you'll notice. Yeah, we can do sort of proportional. Because your toy grade is just left or right. But with the ESC, you do get a little bit proportional. It's not true proportional. Because it's relevant to the amount of pressure or force the motor is trying to turn with whereas with proportional it's re reference to the actual amount of turn of the wheel yeah you'll need to learn about hobby grade to understand that normally you'd have a servo there which detects how far around it's turned and it will be relevant to how far you've turned the steering Right, and then forwards and backwards. Now that one's actually going backwards. When I go pull this this that way, that should be going forwards, but it's going backwards. So on the top here, we've got throttle and steering, and you can reverse it, normal and reverse. So reverse that. Right, it was actually slightly in reverse or forwards. And these are the trims for the mid position. So now when I go pull that back, it should go forwards. Yeah. Right, and the brake came into operation. So forwards, trying to go backwards, nothing's happening. Let it go back to the middle. So, forwards, brake comes on when you slam it into reverse, back to the middle, and then we have reverse. Right, I'll just um, stick these in there loosely and then we'll just give it a little run on the ground to show that it works. Right then, so forwards, backwards, looks like we've got excessive wheel spin but we've got no body on there so it's all a bit lightweight left right it's not centering particularly well i don't remember whether i've left the spring center in there or not which is another thing that a servo proper servo steering will center for you whereas here we're relying on whether it's still got the spring center in it
just going to move that stall out of the way. And we might be able to get a full circle. do get proportional throttle so that is straight away an improvement on your old toy grade So, there we go, job done. So, not cheap cheap, but we have converted a toy grade uh, body shell, or chassis, to hobby grade, basic level hobby grade. An ESC is probably going to cost you between four and five pounds, depending on how cheap you go. You might get them a bit cheaper, especially if you buy in bulk. And the connectors, you will need to get a 10-pack of them or something. Again, they're pretty cheap, a couple of pounds for a pack of 10. And you'll need to solder them up yourself. Just thinking, I forgot to mention, you'll also need a battery. And if you go for a LiPo or lithium-ion battery, then you'll also need a charger so that's going to add to your cost as well but you can use ordinary AA batteries in in this case it would have been in the original battery box that one probably was at least five AA batteries five AA batteries uh, seven and a half volts a 2s lithium-ion battery there is 7.4 volts so close enough, 2S will run, or 5 AA batteries will run it. Job done. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here, is my latest video on my channel and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.